Untold and undocumented stories of the late chief inspired this filmmaker to create Waterberg to Waterberg. It zeroes in on the life of Chief Maherero when he escaped to Botswana. I was actually on holiday in South Africa, hiking in the Waterberg of South Africa. And I knew Namibian history pretty well. And at the end of the hike, the landowner came to me and said, where are you from? I said, no, I'm from Namibia. And he said, oh, you know Samuel Maharo? And I said, like, yeah, of course I know. He's one of our deepest heroes. He said, OK, uh, you won't believe this, but Samuel Maharo used to live on this farm. And if you come into the farmhouse, I can show you photos of uh, the grandfathers, my grandfather with Samuel Maharo in 1906. And I thought he had his history all muddled up because what I knew for Namibian history. Samuel died in Botswana and was brought back to Namibia. So this really piqued my interest. I went to see the photos and he had a personal diary with all these amazing pictures of Samuel Maharo, which is in the movie. So here's an old white guy with Samuel Maharo living together in the Waterberg of South Africa. So I knew the beginning of the story, that the Battle of the Waterberg, and I knew the end of the story that he'd lived in South Africa for 20 years. And I didn't know anything about what happened in between. So the movie follows that journey from Samuel Maharo in the Waterberg of Namibia to Samuel Maharo in the Waterberg of South Africa. The film also makes audience aware of the deep root culture of the Ova Hereros that exiled to Botswana. Even though they were in a different country, they never forgot their home, revealing a history that is not known to many. The people in the movie are mostly Herero elders, and they're Herero elders from Namibia, from Botswana, from South Africa. They're the oral historians who've kept this history themselves. They've been passed from generation to generation. Four generations ago, Samuel took this journey. Four generations later, we're interviewing and talking to those Herero descendants. It's a story of hope, faith and unity.